everybody out there in the cooking world. Welcome to Cooking with the Riz. Uh, the recipe today is a really yummy one. Another yummy one, I must say. Um, it is a ricotta and spinach and vegetable lasagna. Yep, yeah, that's ex right, exactly right. It's going to be a little bit in this, so um, take your time and don't worry. It's, it'll all come together beautifully. Now, I've already sliced the, all these things up here, all these um, veggies, and I've got some eggplant, zucchini, red capsicum, and sweet potato. So I've sliced these up, not thin and not thick, just, you know, a nice, a nice sort of size like that. I'm going to cook these on the barbecue out there on the grill. Bit of oil and just grill them off till about probably just over half cooked because you want to finish them off when they're in the oven. All right, so um, I'll go and do that now. You know, the egg, of these I've just uh, opened up, I've cut them in half, opened them up, cleaned them out, and just put them like that, and I'll just cook nicely on the, on the, um, on the barbecue out there. And my little sweet potatoes, they were long, so I'll cut them in half, so, so they'll about that long. I've cut them in half, put them on a flat surface like so, and then I slice them. And this is part one of the recipe, okay? So um, it's quite easy, like I said, this is the part that takes the most time to cook these off. But once they're done, she'll be bloody beautiful. All right, so I'll go outside and I'll see you shortly. Okay guys, I'm out here now with my barbecue and I've got some oil spray here, spray your barbie with it. Those cans that you can buy are quite dangerous. They actually um, make it can catch fire. So you've got to be careful with those. Alright, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the sweet potato on here first. Okay guys, all the veggies are cooked. I'll show you those. That's all here. Actually, I'll bring them a bit closer so you can get a good look. Okay, so now I'm going to just make the um, ricotta mix. I've got my spinach here. And what you need to do, because it's a lot of water, so you need to just squeeze out the water. Uh, just like that. Make sure you squeeze out as much as you can. All right, so it's like this. Don't get too much in the way in your hands because it's too hard to squeeze otherwise. So you just gotta make sure you squeeze really hard. And all we need to do is just give it a bit of a chop. Just like this. Just a rough one. All right, let's go one way then go the other. Throw that in there. That's it for that. We'll put some nice pepper in here. Good hit of pepper. Good smash of salt. As you know, salt brings out the flavor pretty good. And just give it a bit of a mix up. Let's break that cotter up like so. So this, when you put this in, we're just going to put little blobs of it. We're not going to um, put a whole layer It'll just be small blobs. So I'll just set that aside. I've grated my parmesan and I've grated my mozzarella here. Okay, now what we need to do, we've got our beautiful vegetables here. I've got my baking tray there. I've got my um, lasagna sheets here. There's five of these in a pack. Actually, what I want to do first is just give that a spray. There's some that nonsense. Then what you want to do, break a corner like that. 
so it sits in nicely. Might need to put a bit down the side, I think. Yeah, all right. With this one, I got to, with this pan here, I need to put a slice down the side here, because otherwise it's not going to fill. That's all right. Thought that piece would have taken up the whole area, actually. Anyway, that's all right. That's good. Now, I want to put sauce in here now. All right, so what we need to do here now, guys, I've got my sauce sitting here, my lasagna sheet. I've got one sheet in here now. All right, we'll put some sauce in here, just like that. Okay. And what, I mean, let me move this out the road. And what I want to do, you want to layer your veggies in here. So, just like so. Oops. Just like that. Get some zucchini. Beautiful zucchini. Yum, yum. And you can put, um, like, I've put my um, eggplant going this way. Now I'm putting the zucchini going that way. Okay. So you can do that as well. There, I've got my, and again, I'm just going to layer this on top like so. Go in the opposite direction. So this is quite um, thick, this one. So we're going to put some cheese on now. So I'm just going to just blob it on like this, see? Just like so. Actually, I'll put the capsicum in here because the other half doesn't like it. But I'll make her a little one. Okay. I want to put a bit more. So a little bit more of this ricotta mix in here. Just like that. Then we can put our cheese on. Don't be shy with the cheese. All right. And the mozzarella as well. Now I'm going to put some sauce over the top of this. Like that. You don't want this to be sloppy. Hopefully it doesn't come out sloppy. But yeah, you don't want it to be sloppy, okay? I've got to cut that there. Okay, put another layer of this on. Lasagna sheet, press down. So we can get another layer on top of this. And this here I need to, I'll just fold it, see if it breaks. And it should break. Yeah, look at that. Beautiful. There. I need another one across the bottom. Just like so. See? How's that? Then we'll put a bit more sauce on top of this. Not too much. Alright. Drizzle, drizzle, spring. Use the bottom of the ladle to sp spread it around. Like so. Put a little bit more. Okay. So you can use these lasagna sheets that I'm using here. They're ready to go ones, fresh pasta sheets. Or you can just go and buy, actually I might put the cheese on top, on the bottom on top of this. Or you can go and buy the, um, what do they call them, uh, the instant ones. You know, they're not, the best ones, but they're all right, they'll still do the job.
So it's more veggies than lasagna sheets anyway. There's only three, three layers of, of lasagna sheet. One at the bottom and two, and two, one in the middle, one on top. So that's it guys with that. All right, now I want to cover it. A little bit of that over it. Just like this. I'll just take these edges in. pieces on here actually. Oven's ready to rock and roll over there. That's right now. Whack him in the oven. Take a good probably hour and a half or close to two hours maybe. Okay guys, that's it for that. Pretty simple. When you've got everything prepared, then it's all just bang, 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 put it together really quickly and smash it in the oven. All right, well, when she's ready, I'll bring it out and show you what the, uh, what the end result's going to be. Well, 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 she is ready and ready to eat. Now, I took this out of the oven. I, left, I had it in there for about an hour and a half. After an hour, I took the cover off and just let it brown on top. So, and then I took it out of the oven and it's been resting for about a good 20 minutes or so. So just make sure you do that before you start cutting into it. This is the uh, moment of truth, eh? Let's get into it, let's have a look. All right, yeah. So I'm cutting it with a plastic knife, so I don't want to scratch my uh, non-stick here. All right, so I'll cut a piece there. Now, I've got to try and get it out. The first piece is always really hard, eh? All right, let's see what happens here. Oh, boy. Woo, look at that. Yeah, baby. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, yum, yum. That looks damn good. Looks a good, huh? All right, let's have a little tasty test. Let's go for that, eh? Ooh, nice veggies in there. Oh, yum, yum, yum. All right. Look at that beautiful capsicum. Mmm. Oh, you can smell the ricotta in this as well. Beautiful. Where's the uh, sweet potato? Get a bit of that on there. All right. Oh, it's still pretty damn hot. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mmm. Mmm, mmm. That was bloody hot, but delicious. I'll tell you what, this is really, really yummy. Woo! Well, get into that kitchen, guys, and give it a smash, because I'll tell you what, you'll be happy with this, and all the family will love it, the kids, everyone. All right, until I see you next time, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel if you feel like doing that. Uh, it helps me out a lot, and I will see you all at the next recipe which i don't know what i'm going to do yet so until then take care everybody and happy cooking to, every to everybody as well see ya <laughs>